Hey, Kenny, I got my guitar. I'm here for a lesson. All right, buddy. You got a 20, we'll rock for your party. <laughs> I recorded Wildwood Flower as a lesson on the website this week, and I thought, how would Kenny Smith play Wildwood Flower? Because I bet he would have some really cool licks. So <laughs> I asked if I could come over and steal them. He said, yeah. So we're going to play Wildwood Flower for you, and I think that Kenny will probably have some cool ideas that we can grab and use for our own. So thanks for having me, Kenny. Oh, yeah, man. Let's play it. One, two, three. Uh, you're you're taking me on a little ride with uh, sounds like some uh, diminished chord or a diminished chord in there. Yeah, and that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing this walk down. Explain to me what you're doing there. Yeah, so so coming from that idea is uh, you know like moving through that when we're going through that five the G chord. So um, at the end of the phrases, there's a yeah a measure so, of G going back to C. Yeah, so I'm just taking um, you know taking kind of some language from the. Uh, from the jazz guys and, and you could play a two minor, you know before the five Okay to resolve, but you know most of the jazz guys I listen to they'll turn that two minor into a major mm -hmm. So you get this kind of Get kind of get this the two dominant seven. Yeah, yeah you get that dominant because you can play a lot more stuff over the dominant seven and Get that and then going that'll that'll lead us into the G so uh, both of those lines you kind of heard in there, uh, those moving lines, which I love because we're mm. moving to that chord. Mm -hmm. uh, both those lines I was getting, the first one I did an arpeggio, so. Okay. So that's one, yeah, one, three, uh, one, three, five, seven. And then we, uh, this next chord, uh, I played a diminished over the G, so. That's kind of, I think of that diminished chord as the same as our five or any kind of dominant. Uh -huh. uh, we can, we can, that, that's kind of a substitution for that, that five. And then we resolve to the, to the, you know, the. And when the you put those two together root. slowly, what do they yeah, sound like? Yeah, so. Uh, sorry. That's beautiful sounding like that G yeah. and that G7. Yeah, so you see that movement um, mm -hmm. kind of moving back to this thing. And then and this kind of line goes, and then we're going to start on this diminished. Now you see this, that mm -hmm. you kind of hear that note, and then it takes you down to the C. Yeah, it takes you back there, but it's. Um, Now the other the other um, movement I did on the end is the same idea. We're just doing mm -hmm. so there there's our there's our D and then so you're describing that partial diminished there. Yeah, just partial thing, and and that gets us back into the C. And that that's kind of you know I kind of think about that stuff instead of thinking of all right we got a C chord. And then we got a G set so playing C stuff and then G stuff. I'm trying to move you into the G. Right. And that's kind of a, you know, this is, isn't something that I've come up with. It's, it's, you know, if you listen to Bach, a lot of classical music, they've got those, they've got those movements going into those chords. And then the jazz guys, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of using their uh, ideas on. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing too, even, you know, as guitar players and stuff, we don't have to play those chords 
when we're playing well with fire, but it doesn't mean that we can't play those lines. Yeah, and that's the point that yeah. I wanted uh, yeah. these folks to see too. That's a great point, is that it sounded wonderful over me playing the cowboy chords to Wildwood Flower. Yeah. It, I mean, it, uh, it spices it up, as it I like to say, you know, thickens it up. That's really cool. So both of those, that um, that's five, seven, and then moving into that G sharp diminished or yeah. partial, sounds great over just a G chord, taking our right. ear back to a C chord. Yeah, and that's I'm, great. I'm, I'm kind of moving you into there, and that's, that's I love that. I love uh, moving through those chords as, as opposed to, you know, playing a chord progression. Yeah, you know, and you, with more boundaries. Yeah, you yeah. kind of, when you play a chord progression, I think you you feel like you you just play that certain chord, and then we kind of forget about what, the bigger picture, huh? Yeah, where, where are we moving to? Yeah, so. that's awesome. Thank you, Kenny. Well, we'll work on that. Y'all work on that too. And uh, if you want to learn more mastery guitar tricks from Kenny Smith, they can visit you at KennySmithGuitar.com, yeah. right? Yeah. Love Get a it. membership yeah. there. And if you want to dive more into my versions of Wildwood Flower, you can check them out, BenjaminClark.com. And uh, give this video a like. And also, make sure and subscribe and hit that little bell as I bring you more content like this every week. Adios.